Well, thank you for joining us for this video presentation on the reinforcing basal suture or REVAS technique. Now, by way of background, uh, I originally saw a need for this technique when we would do uh, redo vasectomy reversals at Mayo. Now, I noticed that the far majority of failures uh, that we were seeing, whether they were my failure or you know someone else's, occurred because the area of repair would pull apart. Now, the problem with vasectomy reversals, though, is there really isn't any strong tissue nearby that you can secure the vas to uh, to prevent it from pulling apart. Uh, so, we developed this technique, and we'll be showing the outcomes that we saw after introducing it into our practice. The following digital animation helps explain how the technique is performed. The first part of the animation demonstrates the traditional way in which vasectomy reversals have been performed for decades. Now the two ends are brought close together, and the two layers of stitches are placed to secure the ends to one another. In some cases, surgeons may use only one layer of stitches, called a modified one-layer technique, but in both cases, only the main ends are secured together. A cutaway animation shows that once the two ends are secured together, sperm are able to travel across the area where the vasectomy once blocked the flow to restore fertility. Now, although the area may be successfully reconnected at surgery, when the area is pulled on postoperatively, some of this strain may lead to one or more stitches being pulled apart. This type of strain can occur from even simple activities such as reaching above your head, arching your back, bending, twisting, and so on. Now, if this occurs, rather than the flow being maintained, your body may scar this area down, which then blocks the flow of sperm and results in a failure on that side. To address this common issue, the REVAS technique was developed to increase the amount of strain that the VAS could handle and reduce the likelihood of the area being pulled apart. Now, this can either be done prior to or following the microsurgical vasovasostomy or epididymal vasostomy. The technique involves placing additional, stronger sutures into the tissue surrounding the VAS on both sides. Now, this requires an additional 15 to 30 minutes of operative time to carefully place the sutures, but once secured, the vas is much more likely to withstand with pulling and strain without putting any tension on the microsurgical repair. Now, even in cases where a few of the revas stitches are pulled apart, the main area of importance remains intact, and sperm are able to successfully traverse the area that was sewn back together. The most important aspect of any technique is whether or not it actually does any good. Uh, after all, you can have an incredible technique, but if it doesn't improve outcomes at all, it really doesn't have much value. Uh, we began using REVAS in January of 2018 at the Mayo Clinic, and we did a study where we compared men who had undergone a reversal prior to and following this new procedure. Now, this includes men who had first-time simple repairs and complex repairs, so it's not just a representation of those who underwent vasovasostomy only, where we would expect outcomes to be inflated. Rather, it's a, a more true representation of results from the technique. The average age of the men in this series was 42 years and the average time since vasectomy was 9 years. You can see from this first figure that regardless of how we characterized a successful outcome, the results were higher among men who had REVAS technique performed. Now typically we select 5 million as the successful outcome number as this is the number where the rate of pregnancy is improved. And you can see that more than 90% of men had greater than 5 million sperm at the most recent semen analysis obtained. This figure is particularly helpful because you can see that each patient represents a dot on the figure, and these are sequential patients seen at Mayo. You can see that immediately after we introduced the REVAS technique, there was an immediate improvement in both the highest and most recent semen analysis results. But even more importantly, we saw a higher rate of pregnancies within the first year following the procedure, with patients being eight times more likely to achieve a pregnancy if they had the REVAS technique uh, compared to those who didn't. The men were also much more likely to achieve that important 5 million threshold compared to those who didn't. So, in summary, uh, the REVAS technique has resulted in significant improvements in outcomes for men undergoing a vasectomy reversal, including an eight times higher rate of pregnancy within the first year of reversal and a higher rate of achieving and maintaining 5 million or more sperm. I hope this presentation on the REVAS technique has been helpful. If you'd like any additional information, you're invited to visit our website for a free estimated success rate or to contact us with any other questions you may have. Thank you very much.